Evolving from ancient shorebirds, flamingo family history goes back about 30 million years. Flamingos have puzzled scientists for years who have struggled to classify this bird because of its diverse skeletal and behavioral oddities. Its pelvis and ribs are similar to those of a stork, while its eggs are more like those of the herons, and its behavior patterns, webbed feet and waterproof plumage, link it closely to geese. Although these discrepancies might confuse scientists as to their exact classification, they do, however, confirm that they are waders. While this purple gallinule is definitely a wader. This sacred ibis looks more like a splasher. Waders are just that, water birds that wade in the shallows looking for things to eat. And with a bit of help, some, like these egrets, don't need to stick to the shallows. Most, like these red-knobbed coots, have webbed feet, which allow them the added luxury of being able to swim when necessary. Only occasionally competitive, water birds are not very territorial. Many different species are often found happily wading and feeding together. Although these spoonbills prove the opposite. You are what you eat is very true when you are a flamingo. A flamingo's pink or reddish feather, leg and facial coloration comes from its diet of algae and various insects, which contain a certain pigment. So in areas rich in these, the flamingos are pinker than in areas not as rich in this diet. In addition to devoting a considerable amount of time to collective displays, flamingos also spend a large portion of the day preening, which is vital for waterproofing, as they use their bills to distribute oil from their tail to their feathers. Standing in shallow water, flamingos lower their bills upside down into the water, and sweeping their heads from side to side close to the surface, they filter the food out of the water and mud with a spiny piston-like tongue. They pump water through their bill 20 times each second to filter their food. Flying with its head and neck stretched out, a flamingo can reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour and have been known to fly up to 600 kilometers between habitats each night. Flamingos are found in many different habitats but are more characteristically found in fresh or salty lakes. And the less fish, the better. Because fish eat the same type of food and are direct competition for flamingos. The majority of flamingos live in lakes with a lot of salt and often the only source of fresh water comes from boiling springs, which flamingos can withstand. They have good hearing, which not only helps to keep the flocks together, but useful when a howling jackal is on the prowl. Flamingos are extremely social birds, and colonies of a few flamingos are rare, while colonies of tens of thousands are common. They devote a great amount of time to collective displays, and several thousand can be involved together, showing off and moving together. So why does a flamingo stand on one leg? to keep its foot warm, of course. 